Volta Latino seeks to empower and enfranchise and mobilize the fastest growing group of demographic of Americans that happen to be Latino. We decided that the best way to pay it forward to the community was by granting them a half a million dollars in partnership with MacArthur Foundation and giving them one task. What are tech ideas that you would love to see realized that would impact the Latino community in a large way? And one of those big ideas is Teak Chapa's Stanford Latino Entrepreneurship Initiative. My name is Itikio Chapa. My friends call me Teak, and I grew up in King City, California. I had the chance to go and graduate from Stanford University, and now I have the chance to work at Stanford with the Stanford Latino Entrepreneurship Initiative, and I'm the program manager. Let me start out with what I think the broad purpose of our efforts is, and that is to strengthen this country uh, by improving the lives of Latinos. So the whole idea is uh, three things. We do uh, research, we do education, and we do network creation, and we deliver these things out as programs to the Latino business owners, to Latino entrepreneurs. For better or for worse, in our family, in King City, in the Salinas Valley, people work hard, they have to, and they give everything that they have to put food on the table, to fight for opportunities for their kids. There are some things that we need to learn as a community around taking care of ourselves. Ever since I can remember, my dad has managed a convenience store, and my brother and I, we would work during our summers at the store, mostly cleaning, helping outside. The stress of running a business is hard to swallow sometimes. So things are up and things are down, things might be going smoothly, and then a pipe breaks or somebody quits. Um, that might just be the first two days of the week. I went to the school of hard knocks. You know. <laughs> still going. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> what the biggest problem was is I was old school, so if things got rough, you just worked longer, harder. You didn't work smarter. I never had any bookkeeping training. I just worked uh, on the job training when I was 14. I wish I would have had more education, bookkeeping sense, budgeting better. In our family, where our parents owning and running a business, that that gave us strength to then go find opportunity for ourselves. That's not just our story, that's a story of millions of Latino households and families across the country. And my work at Stanford really comes down to how do we, in a data and, and research-driven way, tell our story. Tell our story of over four million Latino entrepreneurs across the country. That's one out of every three Latino households has an entrepreneur, has a business owner. And when we think about our spending power, that if U.S. Latinos were our own country, that we would be a top 15 um, by GDP nation, it's just unbelievably powerful. We believe that the Latino population is making and will make a continually important and more significant impact on the economic health of the country. And if this population is not strong, if it's not well-educated, if it's not uh, hopeful for the future, et cetera, et cetera, uh, the whole country will suffer. Through Vote the Latino and our Innovators Challenge, it helps us build our educational program. It helps us much more quickly be able to start having Latino business owners go through our programs. And hopefully then, that means that policymakers, that means that corporations and that nonprofits get a better idea of who we are as a community. Um, they better understand our what I think is our biggest asset, which is our business owners, who are often, like my dad, pillars of the community who, again, like us, our family just has much more opportunity because of the work that they do. And we can really drive not just our community, but the country, and not just the country, but the world. <laughs>